Hello Space Watchers and welcome back to our weekly nugget where we analyze the news of the week. This time we choose to analyze the recent news of Air Marshal Paul Godfrey, the inaugural commander of the UK Space Command, taking up a new role within the US Space Force. Godfrey took up the role of Assistant Chief of Space Operation for Future Concept and Partnership on the 17th of June 2024. He will advise on matters related to space superiority and resilience through international partnership. Replacing Godfrey as a successor at the UK Space Command will be Major General Paul Tedman, senior British Army officer, who also was in the US because Tedman just spent over two years at the US Space Command in the role of Deputy Director for Strategy, Plans and Policy. So one British person returns to the US and one leaves for the US. This exchange between the US and the UK is very interesting and opens some, some questions, especially for Europe. Firstly, it uh, signals something very well known, the fact that the US and the UK are more than international partners. They are almost family. To make a comparison, it will be unheard for a German space commander to take up an official military position in, in Austria or in Switzerland. So this goes way beyond uh, the common language. They have decades of solid partnership and they trust each other. And they're two strong countries, of course, so they deal as equals. This is something that no other country has, nor in Europe, nor in other parts of the world. The closest comparison is a France-German partnership. The two countries have talked as equals in the past, but they are still national competitors when it comes to European interests. And the China-Russia partnership is nowhere as solid and as equal as the UK-US partnership. The relationship between China and Russia is a relationship of common interests because they have common enemies. It is not based on sheer values or on friendship. There are a couple of questions that I would like to ask. The first one, is the UK getting closer and closer to the US because the Union, the European Union, is making it harder and harder for the UK to access and participate in EU government-sensitive space programs. And second, it would be interesting to understand the balance between this UK-US partnership. Who leads who? How much are the US and the UK actual equal partners? Because when it comes to investments in the space sector, the US is way ahead of the UK. The US is ahead of everyone, as a matter of fact. So what is really the US getting out of this uh, partnership. Intelligence, European logistic base, expertise in certain fields. The debate is open and please let me know your views on the matter. Comment and share generously. Don't forget to tune in on Tuesday at 4 p.m. on our YouTube channel for our live review of the VC Capitals with Connor Sattley because we will speak again about the UK, but this time from a economic point of view. And with this, space was up.